Yeah, so I am uh, talking on a relatively new topic on uh, anthropomorphism, uh, how it's applied to conversation user interfaces. I'm trying to bring uh, NLP, behavioral psychology, uh, and uh, uh, user experience together, and how that can fundamentally enhance a conversation user experience. Yeah, so whenever we build any technology, right, so we, uh, we try to solve, we take only a data science uh, angle and then we try only to solve that particular space, whereas uh, a lot of the consumer facing products and a lot of things we do today is a lot to do with consumers and consumer psychology. I think uh, the more we kind of shift some of these areas also to apply for consumer psychology, etc. and kind of marry these things together. Uh, the success could lie in that. So rather than uh, you know being very focused about just natural language processing or uh, you know understanding and just doing data mining techniques for a stated problem, if the problem can be thought of, take a step back and think about the problem and see if it can involve different areas, that would be something good. So the first thing that is lacking whenever an NLP solution is designed, it is uh, the context of it, right? So let's say if somebody is de designing a user conversation user interface or even for that matter a search engine, etc. It's very important to understand that at the end of the day, consumers are going to sit and work on it, right? And hence, if we focus on the human computer interaction, which is why this field in the first place came into uh, uh, place. And then if we could develop solutions to address those gaps, uh, which uh, which is about the hu human computer interaction like how well um, computers can understand human beings but what are also some of those uh, things today that is stopping a human to interact with the computer yeah so um, a has been great and i think uh, the last uh, eight ten years there has been a lot of hype and surge and everything but uh, you know it would be great if organizations uh, you know truly start uh, taking AI mainstream and it uh, starts to becoming the b backbone of a lot of organizations. Uh, they play a very critical role and uh, they will they will they play a critical role but they have to understand their role is not just about algorithms and data and uh, uh, you know putting some codes together but if they think that they are actually going to change the way the organization is going to think about data they could be expansive and hence um, show that uh, uh, incremental revenue to the organization as well Yeah, so it, it is very sad that there are very, very few women in data science and in fact even lower women leaders in this uh, space. I think encouraging uh, people to do STEM, uh, even uh, you know at the early primary, secondary level, that could help. And also, you know, the other side of the story, the organizations kind of giving more flexibility, which would let not uh, people who are extremely talented drop their jobs, could also make a difference. Yeah, so it kind of brings in the community together and it, uh, it really gets people who are really serious about this and serious about adding value through artificial intelligence, through their organizations or through academia or any place that they are associated with to bring them all together in the same place. I think it's a great thing. <laughs>